Let's see what we're looking at here. All right, well, we have separation. And it's been repaired before. You can see the strip. This has definitely been repaired previously. What's going on, people? Man, well, it's been a long, long winter. As you guys remember, last year I bought my first boat, SV Artemis. 1985 Catalina 30 tall rig. It's been a long, long winter with a lot of boat projects, but man, did we have some fun. Anyway, it's time to start enjoying the water. Now, don't worry, we're not going to lose focus on this channel. I just want to tell you that it's time for season three, time to start moving forward with a lot more fun on the water. But we do still have a ton of boat projects coming at you. So if you're new to sailing or want to just follow me on my adventures, I implore you to smash that like and subscribe. And man, I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. Well, all right. They have done everything they need to do. The keel has been ground down. And if you look, all that nasty fairing compound has been pulled out. We got to do a little bit of work up in here. We're going to pick this out and we're going to re Re rehandle that. I'd like to pull some of this down. That needs to be ground out still. But yeah, I'll fill in the joint. Up here you can see where I thought it was real bad. That's, I'm just gonna get some 5200 in there. Yes, I love 5200. It has never failed me. But all in all, all that cancer's gone now. All that d lamb has been removed. And you can see the keel joint. A little bit of rust, but he's doing some more grinding today. This joint's good. This side's actually better, where I thought the other side was going to be better um, than this one. But the joint's not bad. As you can see... Yep, so today he's doing a bit more grinding, and then he's going to do some rust lock on here. Um, the plan here will be, sometime this week, we will get down here and fair it out, and then he can go ahead and do the rest of the paint. He is using Rust-Oleum, which is smart, people. But yeah, not bad. So, a little 5200. The other side, we're going to do a little picking, and a bit more 5200. Yes, I love it. Say it again. Um, keel hull joint, and then she's ready. She's ready for the water in about a week. I'm stoked. Simple, simple, easy. But yeah, it's coming along, man. Coming along. We're getting there. Hell yeah. She'll be in the water soon. All right, well, he's been a busy, busy boy. He's got the shaft all done nicely. Two zincs, that's proper. And now look at that. Now it's time to fair her out. First, I'm going to fill this joint. This looks great. This really came a long way. That's the rust lock that's on there now. And now we're going to go ahead and fair it out. You can sand it, paint it, and be done. All right, well, once again, we're using Total Boat to do this. Um, and he did listen, got us a nice flat platform here to do it on. This is the best way to mix this stuff, guys. Um, spoon it out, even spoons, uh, you know, one to one. Mix it till it's green, good to go. So I'm gonna get this opened up and get ready to go. I just do need to fill that one little area with 5200 to let that to start to cure. But this is, uh, this stuff's super easy to use. Super easy, super awesome. All right, so we're gonna 5200 this joint, and then we're gonna go ahead and smooth it out, and then we're gonna go ahead and start fairing. So right there is where we start. We're gonna bring it down smooth, 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 thick. All right, so we filled the joint with the 52. We're gonna do a little bit more. We gotta let it set. The trick with this stuff is, because once it dries, it's not sandable, is to make sure we're smoothing it the best we can. And then it'll set up and then you can fare over it. But you wanna you wanna smooth it as best as possible. Because again, this is not sandable. It is what it is. So let me work on that because this is tough to do with a camera in my hand. Smooth it out, and then we're gonna start faring. Giggity, giggity goo. 
How you feel about that? Good, it's looking nice. Looking great, actually. All right, so we got the joint filled again. Uh, we're gonna have to keep up with that until it starts to set. It's starting to luge out a little bit. So we'll just keep hitting that from time to time until she tacks. But now it's time to mix the fairing compound. Now this can be a knife you're working with, but now you're gonna start to blend it all. You've got mustard and you've got blue. So you wanna get a beautiful little green color. Again, I find that working on one of these boards is the best way. You throw it away afterwards. Exactly, but it gives you the best working area. Um, I just did it at the my marina, and I had to use um, a paint mixing tray. It took forever. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we got our first batch mixed up. Um, what we're going to do now is go over to the keel and start putting on a thin layer of this. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness well, Alright, my hands are sticky But we, uh, we finished it Didn't need as much fairing as I thought so that worked out rather well. As you can see here, he did a little bit of work on his rudder. The back had a lot of pitting. That's all filled in. The rest was just pitting. 5200, still leaky, but we'll keep pushing it back up. And now he's just got to go ahead and sand this probably later this afternoon because it's not thick. Seeking in the car. This side was much better. Didn't need much at all. All in all, half that fairing compound was used. So you get an idea how far it actually stretches. Could have done probably the entire keel with a skim coat, but I didn't see a need for that. So now he's just got to sand this down, paint it, and he's done. He's ready to go. Not bad. Well, all right, so he really lucked out uh, with, with all this. Um, this didn't need half of what I originally thought. Smile, because you saved yourself a bunch of money by switching to this boat. <laughs> and work. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be done here helping him now but he will send me some pictures of the finished product and I'll get him into this video. But this boat's got great bones and he's gonna be out in the sound, so keep an eye out for her. I don't know the name again. Hendrance. Hendrance? Hendrance, Hendrance. Yes. So keep an eye out for them, they're cool people. And um, yeah, this, this repair is gonna last a lifetime. He's just gotta keep pushing that 5200 before it drips out, so it tacks up in there. But other than that, this looks, this looks golden. Um, all the, Pits are filled. He's just gonna go ahead and skim some more and then get on the two to three coats of paint down here. That rust lock really did a great job. There he goes, putting a little bit in. Nice. But again, yeah, if you're gonna use Total Fair, um, get yourself a piece of this corrugated plastic. This stuff really helps. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this one. We really lucked out that it was not a lot of work. I mean, I'm sure it was because he did all the sanding. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a lot of work. Yeah, so if you need me to come help you, don't expect me to sand. That's just, that's out of my that's category at this point. You want to vote. Exactly, that's your job. But I have no problem helping people out with this sort of stuff, so you know how to find me. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll have pictures throughout and whatnot, and don't forget to look at part one where we came and looked at this. All right, <clears throat> so we finished, I shouldn't say we. Uh, Jory finished his boat. I gave him some guidance, and this is it. This is the final product here. Uh, she's been fared out, painted, rust locked. 
boat is ready to go. They're gonna hopefully try to leave this weekend and um, get it out to Long Island. I'm not mad at that. Considering what this looked like to now, um, I'd say job well done to, to these guys, uh, especially as newbies. So yeah, awesome. Anyone can do this. Anyone can fix up a boat. You don't have to be a boat mechanic. You don't have to be um, you know, knowledgeable with boats. You just need to want to do it and uh, take your time. Reach out, find someone that wants to help you. There's plenty of us out there that have no problem giving a hand. So yeah, she's ready to go. I'm very excited for these guys. They're gonna be in Long Island Sound. And I think they're, uh, they're gonna have an amazing season. So job well, blah, job well done, haha. <laughs> and um, yeah, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. No, I don't monetize, I just do this for fun. But the more people that like these videos, the more people will see them because of the algorithms. Anyway, I am off to finish Artemis and get her launched. So talk to you guys later.